Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having an awesome day today. Um, can't recall using this green for a while, so I picked it as my color today. Um, I was kind of digging the, uh, the spots that I did with the Viking dragons, so I was going to do uh, some more, like, green and black. And... Right. And maybe, yeah, this purple. I haven't been using this one lately because this is all I have left and this door has been out. So it's like, ah, I don't want to be out of it, but it goes really well with this green, so we're just going to use it. And I had another thing. Um, hey, Rex. Good morning. How are you doing today? Oh, Rex, by the way, when you get your dragon, um, could you please uh, whisper me and let me know that it arrives safely? I always, I always worry about when I ship off the little babies. Um, so this is going to be another sitting up pose because I really enjoyed making the sitting up pose. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll add some wings to this one. So, uh, what do I need to do next? I kind of pre-made, pre-made some legs and the armature and the head to get things rolling. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and put the eyes on since we're here. <laughs> well, thankfully, usually if something happens, it's like a horn or something may have popped off, you know? And it's not that usually things don't break, like it's not going to break in half. Usually it's just something at a connection point that may have popped off from jostling in the box or them playing, you know, soccer with the box or whatever they do to these darn boxes. Um, usually just a drop of super glue would, and we should put it right back on and you never know there was an issue. So yeah, just let me know and hopefully all is well. And good morning, Jill and good morning, Anna. How are you two today? Oh my gosh, are you guys something? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And it tastes delicious in the cup. <laughs> also, da -da -da -da, I got my Koi shirt. In the back, it says I love Koi. Isn't that awesome? really excited about my shirt. Um, I think the link for for my Koi swag is, is in the boxes below somewhere. I, I set it up. I set up the link. So hopefully it works. It's the Zazzle shop. Yeah, I made shirts. There's also another one that has my, my logo on it. But I made the Koi ones just like for Koi lovers, just in case like, you know, well, I don't know what Kiwi Koi Originals is, but I like Koi. Well, here's your answer, my friend. I made quite a few things with my logo on it, or just the koi on it, the little cute little chibi koi. Are 
these two different beads? Is that what is messing with my eyes? Let me look at you beads. Talisman Rex, yes, yes. Have fun, my friend. Very sneaky face today, Mr. Dragon. Don't know how that turned out, but I'm not complaining. Look at that. Look at that little sneaky face. All right. Um, I have something that I was gonna do with this. I bought a cool little like a leather maybe suede cord. I thought it'd be cool to like wrap it around the tail or around like maybe the paws or something just for a fun uh, not clay accent. So we'll see. The mint today is fierce. I don't know what's going on with that. Ah, well, hello Rex. This is me. Hello. There, now you really got to see me. <laughs> um I I'm thinking I didn't know what to make. I honestly really didn't. Um but I know I wanted to use these colors. Uh, green and black and this purple pearl um i was thinking a sitting up dragon like like sage like the mama dragon oh thanks for checking it out jim it's uh i can tell you uh, i got one of the haynes tigler shirts seems pretty cool i got i got a medium though i got a guy's medium i think i'm gonna shrink it i'm gonna wash it and drink it It just looked cooler on the guy <laughs> when I was scrolling through. All right. Okay. So, um, stop dogs, dogs, dogs. I need to make the black bed, I think. The black part. Um, I'll show you guys how I make the armature for the legs again, I guess, if I'm going to be doing this. Pringles. All the fishies are doing amazing. They are doing super duper good. I'll tell them you said hello. So I, I take a piece of foil and I rip it in half. And then I'm going to take one of those halves and rip it in half. I'll well, save this for later for something else. Maybe more legs in the future. But, so then I'll, um, I'll take it again and fold it in half. Okay, so I folded it. And this is going to be the leg, the up and down right here. So I want to bring all this together. Like this. And I'm just going to push it all up and twist it so it's nice and tight and firm. I just need a firm stick. That's what I need. Boom! Leg. I'll show you the other one. You take what you ripped and fold it in half. You then bring all that in. Fish love. Yes fish forever. And we have leg number two. They should be about the same size. Yep. 
You can always snip it off if need be. But you shouldn't if you did what I just did. Um, because what's nice about this is it's nice and firm. So you'll have your foot and your toes. And this it just it helps hold the, hold the dragon out. Works for me anyhow. Crinkles. And lots of crinkles for Jill. How's Raina today? Which ones are going to make the cut to the new desk? <laughs> so that's a, that's a really important decision. The, uh, the Viking family is on its way to you. I feel they're desk worthy. Oh, they are desk worthy. <laughs> nice. Griff finished up with his uh, two days ago. So he is now officially a 12th grader. Oh, oh. <clears throat> where does the time go? I don't know who I was kidding. I'm going to need more black than that. I used my never need on this green. The green was really stiff. I used my never need five minutes. I was done with three squares. It was, it was amazing. Ooh, I got a thing yesterday. Um, so yesterday, I remember I told you guys I was having some Wi-Fi issues, like over the weekend or whatever. And yesterday, I had a technician come out and figure out what was going on with the Wi-Fi all around the house it was blasting but my computer was only picking up 100 megabytes i have the availability of 400. so he's like oh it's your it's your wi-fi um your your adapter for my computer to be able to pick up wi-fi my adapter was outdated and could only pick up 100. so i had to go buy a, a new one and hopefully the streams should be awesome for now on And we got these neat little Google Home Pods, Google Home Wi-Fi, and placed them around the house. So everybody should be having better Wi-Fi now. That's exciting. It was cool. The dude like walked around the house with his little meter from gray to yellow to green. And he's like walking around up here and it's green. Walks in our bedroom, yellow. <laughs> Walks downstairs, gray. It's like, huh, okay. I see where we need to put these pods. Uh, just so you guys know, if you have the availability, Best Buy for free will come to your house and give you an evaluation of your your Wi-Fi and and TV and sound. Like they'll evaluate everything and and like give you the best options. So you just don't like needlessly buy something and then it really isn't the best fit for you. It's pretty cool. What I have learned over the past couple weeks. <laughs> um, does Griffin have a big head? Yes, he does. He's a big boy. He's um, big head. I have a tiny head. His head's bigger than mine. <laughs> Like, I could, 
I don't know if it would help, but maybe I could find one of his hats and I can show you where he puts the little um, head snaps. Maybe that would help show you how big his head is. Interesting. Oh yeah, who can be separated? Lapis and Cobalt can't, no. Mamas and babies have to stay together, yeah. <sighs> That's funny. Maybe Grump is like his deckhand. <laughs> <laughs> you have a habit of getting pairs so they cannot be separated. Yes. Well, cool, Jill. <laughs> um, what was I doing? I was doing feet. Yes. Yeah, I was doing feet. We got, we got talking about other things. That's not. I just, I just put all these together. And I'll cut them down if they're too big. Oh, neat. Yeah. Oh, uh, message me in the uh, uh, yeah, Facebook or Instagram. And uh, and we will talk more about that. JJ's been asking me to make the uh, Harry Potter dragons. I just I just haven't had the drive, I guess would be the word, to do it. Maybe I should just make dragons with scarves. Maybe, maybe the scarves can be the, the telling tale that it's a Harry Potter dragon. I had like this idea. I'll see if I can show you guys. Let's see if it'll work. Hang tight. Was it on Forge? No, where's my saved stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's making me go through for some reason. Huh. That's cool. It erased all my projects. Whatever. I'm over it. So I can't show you what I wanted to show you. <laughs> Alright. Back to this. I had dragons in all the um, the house colors. 
and like one looked like a griffin and one looked very snake-like and one looked very badgery and one looked very raveny. Maybe I'll maybe I'll come back to that thought for those dragons. I mean, I, I want to do. I just I just couldn't seem to get myself to do it. Too many ideas at the time, I guess. <laughs> Oh, how are those coming? Did you start those, Joe? Your MLP dragons? And sorry, that one burnt the oven. That's no fun. <laughs> He's just going to stare at you. It's Sam the Snake. Where do you go to get yours, Joe? Your clay. some new tools in the mail I got I got a little a new little scale tool check it out it's got this little U shape in it I don't know if you can see it see it so like the gist would be that I would Make the scale, and then make a scale next to it, and make a scale next to it, and then make the scale underneath it, and so on and so forth. Bam. I got this from Moore's More. More. Me. More. On eBay. I also got... Because <clears throat> I was ordering a new set of these, and that's who I bought them from, but they didn't quite come how I wanted them. Um, apparently, from last time I bought this, they made this spot smaller, so I'm going to still stick with this. Um, remember how I, there was some weird stuff going on with the handle? I messaged her, I think it's her, <clears throat> I messaged that person, and they said that polymer clay reacts with whatever this handle is coated in, and it dissolves it. So... The suggestion was to file it down maybe, like sand it, so that it's down to wood and it won't do that. Uh, the other tool I got, don't know if I'm going to use these or not, but we'll see. Um, I got a free thing, a little free poker, a little poker tool, I don't know, poke something with it. Maybe some fine lines or something. I got this itty bitty. If you can see it. It's just a little flat 
spatula kind of just it's flat when it's rounded maybe for some like getting in some fine spots you know we'll see maybe I'll get a chance to use it maybe I can do some more detailed things now that I have it who knows But yeah, I'm really excited about the fish scale thing. Because the other one I have is cool for like the big sea dragon like I did with Gerald. But um, this would be cool for smaller stuff. Or even like mer dragons. They have mer dragons with mer things. Or a Kirin. Could use it for the Kirin too. Because Kirins have scales. Very good choices there. I would I would love to see a picture of that when that's all when that's all set. <laughs> I apologize that I have cluttered your house so much. <laughs> but yet it is awesome. Okay, we have two feet, almost the same size. Let's keep cutting this guy down a little bit. There, that'll do it. That ought to do it. Okay, boom, two feet. Gave little little nubs up front for his little nubby toes. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna use this instead of my exacto knife to make the toes. See how it turns out. I notice I always have to come in with this guy anyways. What if I started with it? Let's see how it looks. Not bad.
nice. And two little big, big fat feet. Um, let me just leave these for now. In case I want to use them later. For spots or something. <laughs> you want to pet him? <laughs> I should for fun one of these days just make a snake all curled and twisted on itself. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? This big old chunk of black clay is just awesome. I just keep using it and using it and it's still here. Oh, Rex, that is kind of you to ask everyone. Uh, this green is the bright green pearl. Um, 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 uh, Sereth. You're Sereth, that color. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that again. Since, like, every time I go to Michael's, I've got, like, some kind of 50% off coupon. And it's, like, a waste on these little tiny blocks of clay. Yes, tongue guy. <laughs> Funny enough, this is, I believe this is the purple that his tongue is too. <laughs> How was your sauna trip, Rex? Was it relaxing? It sounds relaxing. Costa Rican today, by the way. Coffee. Went for just a coffee flavor. My second cup is usually my flavor flavors. Oh, and the fire truck. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to put these together. I'm going to make his feet. I'm really enjoying making the the different colored like arms and legs to the body. Like that dynamic for some reason has just been making me very happy lately. It just seems to add a lot. My foot is caught on the cord. Go away, cord. Go away. Okay. Feet time.
going to do the same thing that I did on the front paws so that we have uniformity. My OCD will not allow me to do it the other way. <laughs> Once I have done it one way. looking pretty good though. Okay, black hands. Let's get it off. Alright. Now for the tricky part. <laughs> this part is never easy. Uh, let's go this way. I'm sorry, perfect snakehead. I have to mess with you for a minute. But I will fix you, I promise. Anything I mess up, I will fix. This is a pretty, pretty tough pose to figure out. Should probably put the feet on the feet first. Are these gonna be big enough? I did not I did not check that. Being difficult. Stop being difficult. <laughs> Quit. Okay. Okay. It seems that these could be just a hair bigger. Oh, yes, I will not mangle him. I am very, very careful. That's why they keep falling. It's because I'm not mangling him. I'm just like the lightest touch possible. Oh. 
Ooh, chicken soup, yummy. Really, Jill? You learn by watching me? Aw. <laughs> Is it all blue over there? Do you need to, uh, reassess? It's pretty fun and it's relaxing um, and it's really it's really rewarding when you like make something from nothing. Rex. Plumper legs. Okay. <clears throat> oh, tummy. Oh, I almost forgot. That was a close one, but I didn't forget. That was close. Is it helping at all, Jill, watching me do these haunches? Figuring out the little shape? It, it helps me, I like stare at my dog a lot, uh, Cleopatra. And I look at how her legs are shaped when she's sitting down and how, cause like obviously a dog's haunches are not round, but they do have that one foot sticking out. Like the rest of their leg tucks up underneath here. So you do only see this big boop when they're sitting down. You want it to have a yellow tummy? I can have a yellow tummy. Alright, hang tight. I was gonna go black, but... I can do yellow. Let me find my yellow. Um... I'm going to need to know which yellow though. I've got this bright sunshine yellow. It's kind of, kind of pastel-y looking. And then I have this, um, cadmium yellow hue. I don't know why this looks tan in the picture but it's not it's yeah sunshine what if every toe was a different color <laughs> that would be interesting I, I could do like a dragon one day that's like 
if these colors are just all over the place. All right, let's go with this one. It looks, looks good with this green. <clears throat> oh boy, this is really old. <laughs> I haven't used a yellow in a long time. Oh, that's just how it feels squishy. That's not too bad. Could be worse. Not as bad as that wasabi that I had to throw away. That was... Ugh. Oh, good. Lint. <laughs> good morning, Griffin. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Star, yeah. Yeah, it was, um, every time I would do this with it and, and try to twist it and smush it together, it just crumbled onto the table. Like, I couldn't keep it together. It would not, it would not stay together. Like, if it's tough, I'll just keep working it or I'll take it downstairs to the Never Need. But that one, well, I also didn't have the Never Need at the time, but it just, it was a nightmare. So I figured I was just not going to deal with it. I had an extra, and it worked out just fine, and it was a lot softer. All right. And now this one is all good to go. Griffin got his hair dyed. So it's an interesting color right now because it's the toner is getting worked out of it. <laughs> take your take Manfred off your head. There you go. It's like a platinum, but then it's got dark roots. So it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Uh, yes, Griffin. That's my child. Oh my God, it's his name. It's Master. So the person who did it said that the um, more he washes it, the blonder it's going to get because of the toner. So we'll see. Oh, cool, Anna. I'll have to let him know. <clears throat> yeah, he's a uh, he's a natural redhead. So he's the beard color. Okay. What I think I'm going to have to do is <clears throat> clean this because I don't like the lint.
Oh, yes. Please do. I love doggies. flatten it and see if I need to do more. I did buy something though yesterday. Just remembered that I bought it. A, um, I bought alcohol wipe. Where's the one I was using? Yes, the one I was using. They're little, like little pads, and you get like a box of a hundred of them for two bucks. I should probably break those out. Give them a try. I'm gonna do that. Hang on. Hang on. This is what they look like. Alcohol prep pads. And it comes with 100. So let's see what we get. I'm just curious if it could be used on your hands. It can be used on your hands. But I don't know why I put this down. Oh that's nice. I wonder how long it'll stay moist while it sits out. Or if I could like tuck it back in here. You are not exposed to the air. There it Nothing happened here. You go back in your home. Stay there and be sterile. Okay. Um, should I do a V pattern or a straight across pattern on the tummy? How do you stream with loud kids? Um... <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> that is, uh, I mean, I just, well, I, I told mine, give me from 9 to 12. Don't be loud from 9 to 12, please. So that was, that's how I solved my problem. But then again, mine are also older. So there's that.
Where's my, oh, there he is. And I was like, where's my knife? Cut that little bit off I didn't like. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a V pattern. And then I'm also going to push. giving a little bit of a push to where I on the on the bottom end of the scale thing whatever we wish to call it the uh, what it does is give it the appearance that is a layer a higher layer than the others for depth. That <clears throat> looks lovely. Look at that. Thanks for the color idea, Hannah. Let's give him a koi fish. Everyone needs a koi fish. Now we can get back to making him stand. This is tough because I don't have his body on the ground, so I have to kind of float him in midair and then attach. So I have to see where it's going to hit and then try to pull him up quickly and attach the feet. If I have the feet here, and then these feet would be somewhat like that. It's like I have to double check like a thousand times. Stop falling. This, this is where I want his feet. I 
got it now. <laughs> Where is the tool? This tool. Hey, Dark. How are you? Oh, like an artichoke. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Artichokes are delicious. Um, yes, I do make clay koi. Yes, yes, yes. I was actually debating making one today. Um, but I figured maybe I'd make a dragon today and then let you guys know that my next one's going to be a koi. What color should I make a koi if I do it? I'll need uh, either either two or three colors. Because I could do my logo, which would be red and white. Or I could just do like a black koi with red on it, or a black koi with red and white on it. Um, or I could do anything, really. Like, just be a, like a fantasy style koi. doesn't have to be actually, you know, true to life. White, black, and red. Yes. What colors do I rarely use? Uh, well, white's one of them. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, it's pretty... Oh, I don't know. Uh, gosh. Uh, I'll have to look. The glossy gold? Mmm. Oh, okay. So, all right, interesting. Because there are um, there are there are metallic looking koi. So you could do a, like a gold uh, metallic koi. That that could be a thing. All right. Foot. Don't give me problems. Please don't give me problems. Let's just make this easy for both of us. I'm trying to help you stand here. I have to get the position just right, and then I have to pick him up. So that's what's going on right now. We're fighting for position. And I win. Uh, I need a card. Yeah, 
Hey, Sonic! Welcome! How are you doing? Let me catch up on chat real quick. What I miss? Hot pink? Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the natural koi colors. What we could do is start with, uh, we could, we could, we could spend a few days making some, some fun koi. Um, we can, we can pick all your guys' ideas. The koi from Airbender. Ooh. That, that's a cool idea. I like that idea. My favorite color? Okay. Uh, hang tight, hang tight. My favorite color. I don't know if I can pull it off, though. Maybe I can. Let me see if I have a picture of my baby. His name is Sam. No, Dean. It's Dean, not Sam. Sorry. The Ochiba Shigur is my favorite koi. Let me see if I have a picture. The Ochiba is a gray koi with brown patterns on it. And it the, the name actually means fallen leaves on water. So it looks like leaves on it. Oh, it's so cool. And the scales have a net pattern to them. So they actually have um, a black line around the edge of each scale. Not that I could do that with my thing. But I can still show you what it looks like. I can do a, like a, a gray and brown koi, what it would be. Bam. Isn't that cool? Ochiba Shigur, S H I G U R E, I think. That's my favorite koi. But there's like, actually here, I'll, let me play a little video for you guys. Let me find my videos. And you can see all the different colors of um, of my, in my fish and then maybe you'll get a, a little inspiration. And I apologize, you're gonna get a dog bark because my dog does not know that I was recording. So are we ready? Let's see if we can get the angle right. there and yes I have a big bright golden one uh, dark like you were talking about and I have a bright orange metallic one as well Ochiba is brown the brown and gray one did you see the picture I just I just showed a picture of <laughs> it was magical Every time, Sonic, every time I look at them, it is magical. But yes, it does have a black, like fishnet stockings. That's what it looks like it has on it.
These wipes are the bomb. I'm just taking care of business here with the lint. What lint? Okay. Um, I need to get these arms on. The legs are giving me fits. That's the wrong leg. This is the right leg. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere now, feet. <laughs> You're stuck. You're stuck right there. Okay, now... Just the silly, silly feet, whatever they're doing. There. Oh, cool. I'll check that out. Anna, thanks. Hmm. Yes, that is my pond. I have a pond in my backyard that we built. Uh, we started it in August and it finished in October. And then we landscaped from all of December. So it's a, it's a pretty oriental style Japanese garden backyard with a koi pond. So if I ever move, I'm going to need to find a house with <laughs> a koi, with a pond, because I have babies, and my babies can't leave the babies. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know this, I mean some of you do, because you, I talk about my fish all the time, but... For those that don't, um, koi fish are very friendly, super friendly. I go out there and I pet them. They come up and they give me kisses on my hand and I hand feed them. They're the best, the best fishies ever. They're like little dogs. They all have names, every single one. <laughs>
Okay. So, hands, feet, eyes, tail. All done. Tummy. Done. What is next? Um, let's add some spots. Spots are fun. Oh, is he gonna have wings? Are we doing, uh, we're doing wings on this guy? I'll need to know that pretty soon. Or is he just gonna have, like, big fins or something? Why can't you have koi in Minnesota? Is it? Oh, in the um, in the winter, it, when the top of the water freezes over, they just go down to the bottom and hibernate, and they just don't eat all winter. Um, their tummies, what what digests their food for them is bacteria. So, if the bacteria is not thriving, then they have no want to eat. It's an interesting little thing that I found out. Because I fed them when it was cold once, and like they were eating, but then I noticed when they passed what they ate, it was actually little round balls, like all connected to each other. Like it just went straight through their system. It didn't even digest or nothing. It was really cool. I mean, it was kind of gross, but it was still cool. To learning, learning is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic's like, no. <laughs> I'm in a sharing mood today, Sonic. Be warned. <laughs> Ooh, feathery wings, you're thinking. Hmm. Oh, the tabletop? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I like tabletop. I think I should chill on the dots, though, right here if I'm going to give it wings. Um, but you could have spots over here.
key to spots is to randomly place them. But kind of group them together. And then they look amazing. And random shapes too. I like the random shape spots. Um, it's giving little itty bitty turns here so I don't crack the clay that is already st stiffening. It's not that big of a deal if you crack it, you smooth it over, or you can leave it cracked and then fill it in after it's baked and then rebake it. Definitely options. Okay, he's got spots and he's got his adorableness going on. Oh no, not the Firefly Fleas. I just finished watching that season again. <laughs> uh, actually, yesterday I was wearing my Firefly shirt. I love that show. Was she? She was on Grey's Anatomy? Jill? I like, I watch every episode of Grey's Anatomy and I don't recall her, but maybe I just didn't realize it was her. Um, let's get the wings made. That way, that way we'll know what to do with the rest of him. Maybe maybe his wings will will speak to us. I'm thinking I'm thinking black green yellow. Do we like the sound of that order of progression? It would be the black for the, the black part and then then green and then yellow for the for the tips so I need to clean my hands this is what I need to do Let's see if this will help or I, I'll just I'm sorry I have to just play with it it's drying out no get every last bit that I can all right I didn't play with the yellow first because yellow I don't enjoy working with it there I said it it's a light color light colors bother me I like them I just don't like picking the lint off them does that make sense I almost bought gloves to dang it I knew I knew I need to to give it a try to see if the gloves will be my 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 salvation for light colors, but alas, earwax. Oh, hey, I was going to make a new shirt too, Jill. I was going to make a shirt and I was going to make, I don't know, maybe like little quote signs and have it say stab accordingly. <laughs> and then maybe on the back, have it say Kiwi Koi Originals. Oh yeah, I would think that would work just well or just as well. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Sonic got it. Have you
have you guys seen uh have you guys seen Daredevil or no not Daredevil. Have you seen Deadpool two yet? Yeah, that dude was a cool Dumbledore, Sonic. I'm not going to have spoilers. I'm just going to say I really liked Domino. I thought she was cool in it. They portrayed her well. You should, Sonic. I've seen it twice now. <laughs> I kind of want to make a domino dragon, too. That's, that's another thought rolling around my head. And a cable with the little bear. <laughs> nice, Anna. Oh, this yellow is stiff. Come on, yellow. Work with me here. I just need two little wingtips out of you. That's all I need. This will be interesting. I have never done feathery wings on a sitting of a dragon. This will be, uh, yeah. Get my pins ready. I know I'm gonna need them. Oh, really? I did not know that. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Wow. That is interesting info. Do we want big feathery wings or do we want little like Trico wings? Or like little, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, lapis and cobalt wings. Because that would be a huge difference from what I'm trying to do right now. For some reason, I just instantly went to giant wings. I wasn't thinking, but he could also have the little, the little itty bitty. Hmm. Well. The other ones are going to have to like tuck on top of each other if I make them. 
the big ones. Or I could just make smaller versions of the big ones. Like really small. That might work. Actually, that might be. Might be the best option here. It's like a mix between the two. Smaller, but still stacked wings. Why, Lint? Why? Why? Do you have nothing else to do all day but sit here and jump on my clay? <laughs> you can just see that. <laughs> yep. Uh, JJ made that. Because I, I get the Firefly crate, which comes once every other month. And it came with a little thingy to build a, a Firefly. So he did it. Because we had to watch it. When I say I watched it recently, we watched it with him. Cause he needed to experience the awesomeness. And then be sad that there is no more. My Halloween costume is Kaylee. With her little pink umbrella. Still might be too big. Let's go a little smaller. We'll get there. Okay. This might work. thin it out and well you're not gonna see the bottom So, for those of you watching, um, I make so I make this little triangle shape, and then I, I add these two lines on the side, so that's going to be like three feathers, and then I'm going to cut here and here.
So see, I cut. So now it looks like three sets of feathers. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna make a line in the middle of each of the feathers that I made. So there's one. And it's okay if the ones on the side aren't, because they're tiny. They're like really thin. So you just do the best you can to get that. Um, so then I'll show you now where, where we're at. I've got a line in the middle of each of them. Um, and now comes the fun part of adding all the little feathery lines. I like to add all the lines going in the same direction. So I do like all the left side first, and then I'll turn it, and then do all the right side. And we have, if you can see it, okay. three feathery thingy, wings. <laughs> I can make the groove a little deeper separating the three wings, or three feathers. Why can I never say the word I want to say? <laughs> And yes, this is time consuming, but oh so worth it. In the end, the the feather details are just really fun and they add a lot to your piece. Visual wise. There. What did you want to see, Sonic? What part of the feather? Oh, I forgot to cut the... the feather separation. I still have more of these to do, Sonic, so you'll see it again if you missed it. But just the tiniest piece of plant just needs to go away. Goodbye, <clears throat> yellow. I'm done with you.
Oh, you heard me ask what's it called. <clears throat> yeah, it's, I was just getting my words mixed up. Oh, I was talking. So now I'm going to need the green part. Put on a beanie. That'll help. Should the black part of his um the the beginning of his wings, like which would be the uh, like the bones of his wings, the big meaty part that I'm about to make after the green, should it be furry or not? so many. <laughs> I love beanies so much. We have a vote for furry. I think I like the furry as well. I think it adds a really nice transition to the feathers. From the skin to the fur to the feather. I'm really curious now. Like I'm, like I'm thinking about it. It's like what if. Uh, what if we made a dragon. That was like. Lazy style laying down. Let's just say this is a dragon. Even though it's not. And what if it's head was tucked down. And we had it's wing folded out. And and covering. Like he's, like he's trying to cover his, his head with his wing. That just. Yeah, just popped in my head. So then the wings would be like, the feathers would be splayed out. Because it would be, you know. <laughs> the phalanges. Cool. Idea in the idea bucket. Yay. So we have fish in the idea bucket, and we have the dragon with feathery wings covering his face in the idea bucket. <laughs> you like that I do? I'm a very visual person, and I, I assume other people are too. So I was like, well, if I could just show them my thoughts, it'll help. <laughs> So this layer is going to sit on top of this layer. So get the, the width right for each one.
What will happen if you go to the other side of the house? Oh, you mean to to be away from the dog? Not to go beat its face in, right? I'm assuming that that was not what you were gonna do. <laughs> That's another cool idea. Anna, yes. Yes. Ooh, yes. And um, the tip of its tail. Beep. The tip of its tail. Um, since I have the clay in my hand, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to sing while I do this because it helps get me in the right mindset. Ba, 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 ba. So the tip of its tail have an axe on it. It'll be like an axe head. Like that. Viking axe. I'll look up Viking axes, obviously. Would it be a boy or girl? Anna. Did you say how would I do closed eyes? Sonic? <clears throat> was that was that your question? As this little lady is sleeping in front of you, little black slits for for closed eyes. You've been tempted, Sonic. Uh. I don't like it when my dog barks either. At least it's not all the time. It's just when somebody is at the door or UPS <laughs> or like someone is sitting and talking right outside my window for some reason when people are having parties at the park that's not a fun time <laughs> being as I live across the street from a park Sebastian has a field day. He eventually stops, though. So it is a three-step process for those of you paying attention for these wings that I make. It is, it is quite a process. And I have to do the texture on the other side of these wings when I make it so that the wings are like popping up and showing. So you can see it on both sides. But these are not going to be like that. These ones are going to be tucked in. So I don't have to do that. So see, we have two of the three tiers that we need. Just kind of get them. Make sure they're the same, same size, roughly. Pretty darn close. Um, 
so now we're going to make the black part, which will be the tucked up membrane, the uh, bones, um, phalanges. <laughs> so these are going to be tucked in here like that. And then this one will be tucked on top. Or I could do it the other way around. It doesn't have to be this one, but I'm just, I'm, I'm eyeballing it right now. Seeing where I want each one. So I'm guessing it would kind of look like that. That seem about right. Center part is the shaft. Got it. Also, have these going like this. His wings can be like like this. Fold it together like that too. And then I'll just have the big black part right here. Do we like do we like this look where they're folded together like this? Or do we like it when they're sitting on top of each other like this? I can do it each way. Just let me know which one you want. I can I'll show you the other way real quick. So they're sitting on top of each other way. The part that attaches to the wing is called the quill. Got it. I'm kind of digging the, uh, hey, Mom. this one. Yes, child. Mom. Yes. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> are we, are we mostly in agreement for this, uh, this way? I'm gonna start making the black. It won't change anything of where it is placed. I just gotta make it. So what's the part called that the is, is there is it their bone, the wing bone that holds Wherever the, where the quill is attached to, all that. Hmm. Bird knowledge. I enjoy making this part a lot. <clears throat> hmm. 
So for this part, I make a circle. Oh, I played myself. Huh? I. She's never heard that term before. Um, I was looking for my dragon mug, and it wasn't in the cupboard. It wasn't on the counter. So I couldn't find it, and I was like, it's probably in the dishwasher. So I emptied the whole dishwasher, and it wasn't in there, only to find it was in the sink. Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> um, then what I'm going to do is make a little indent here and a little indent here. I space them out a little bit and that I'm gonna, I'm gonna texture it but I'm just gonna show you what to, where it's gonna go it's gonna hug it's gonna hug the wing like that And then it'll go like here or something. Before that sticks on there. I'll make the other one. And texture. My favorite part. Hey Griff, no. Jeff got Fortnite. Really? He was playing it this morning, but he wouldn't let me tell him anything. What do you think? Um, I don't know. How'd he do? You should message him. I think he got 16th in his like second time trying. Well, or third time. Probably. I don't know. Probably yeah. <laughs> got my husband sucked into Fortnite. Yay! Hopefully he'll play it with us. That'd be fun. Family that plays games together stays together. So one, one all nice and furry. Can you guys see the wonderful furry texture? Ah. What is that? Spanakotopia. And I have I have an urge of looking that up now. What is it? It sounds yummy.
Ooh, yummy. <clears throat> All right. See if it all fits and all comes together. What do we think? Do we like it? And now I want Thai food. I'm thinking these, I'm thinking these are good. I like them. I just need to, what do I need to do? I think I need to add something. I need to add a little a little black chunk of where it's going to be attached to his back just to fill in a gap make make it a little stronger make it look a little more realistic <laughs> that little puppy is cute sonic that's what's cute Like I want to bring these forward enough so because it looks like you know, like he's got his, his his arms, his wings tucked up, nice. But I need. What is it I'm trying to do? I think that's what I was trying to do. Okay, but
texture it after manhandling it so much. And I can't handle hot spicy stuff. <laughs> I can I can handle it in little bits. But my child can handle very spicy stuff. I cannot. We have epic furry wings. Love it. And it looks like they're attached on the inside of his back. Do you see it? Do you see the black? That will that will provide more strength for the for the wings. And it gives it more a realistic look. As realistic as a feather winged dragon can be. I love it. Okay, now, now we can start working on his beautiful face. He has a strong chin, this guy. Ooh, I have a thought. Sorry, thought just popped in my head. 
So you know how he's got the, the black feet and then the black spots and then the little yellow on the, on, the, on the wings to bring in the yellow on his tummy. So what if I put a couple little yellow spots on his legs? Like just a couple to kind of look like it's kind of just trailing out a little bit. I will make them and place them and you guys can say yay or nay. Oh, you guys are making me hungry. <laughs> I love it. Sonic is getting a snack. Welcome back. So, what do we think? Do we like? Should they be smaller? Should they be taken off? Or they look? They look okay. Actually, I'm gonna mix these guys up a bit. I don't want them to look exactly the same. There's no verdict yet, so you tell me if you need me to, uh, whatever. <laughs> we There's no gender yet. It can go either way still. Are we leaning towards something? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the restroom because for some reason I need to use the restroom right now. So you guys think about gender, talk, discuss, and I'll be right back. <laughs>
I return with snacks as well. <laughs> the espresso M&Ms are the best. All right, what'd you guys decide? <laughs> that makes you feel weird reading that umbilicus. <laughs> Motley? Yeah? Motley crew. <laughs> okay. Come on, little piece of I don't know what you are. Thank you. So, guy, is that, uh, I almost. I almost picked up this piece of black and popped it in my mouth. Because, okay. <laughs> Are too close to each other. That's an interesting tidbit of knowledge, Sonic. Do we want him to have a little tiny trail of fur coming down his tail to kind of go with the wings? Or should we leave it plain? Should we put spots on it? What are what are the thoughts from the masses? And I will work on uh, his face. What could make the cutest face in the world for him? Hmm. I really should figure out a, mm, yeah, could be both, um, a two-headed dragon. One of these days. All right. Um, let's, let's play with this face. See where we get. his eyebrows on and go from there. This one needs to be just a hair bigger. <laughs> and still a hair bigger. Huh. That's 
it's interesting. Like, okay. Eyebrows of justice. What kind of expression should we give him? I'm gonna I'm gonna look up expressions and see if I can figure out how to uh, portray that in eyebrows and see if I can figure out how to uh, portray that in eyebrows. I don't know that I can do it. <laughs> the nervous it it has like an upside down look to it. <laughs> the nervous it, the brow. It has like um, an upside down at least from what I'm look. seeing to it. <laughs> the nervous it, the brow. It has like um, an upside down at least from what I'm seeing. Hold up a picture. Hold up a picture. Okay. So if you guys can see this, I'm checking out the eyebrows. Which one should I try to do? Looking out the eyebrows. There's um, happy. Which Sad. one should I try to do? Mad. Annoyed. Ouch. Bored. There's Eye roll. Happy. Sore. Which one Sad. I try to do? Red. Annoyed. Yelling. Ouch. Suspicious. Bored. Surprised. Eye yes. roll. Laughing. Sore. Terrified. Red. Crying Yelling. and wink. Suspicious. Bored. Surprised. And I cannot see your reactions yet to me showing you this. But once I set the set the camera down, then I can't see your. So 
reaction you get when it's put to me showing you this. Once I set the phone, I set the camera down, down, then I can't. So. Oh, you're going to see half of it? Of course. <laughs> Dang. Dang day. Sorry. Let's see. Can you? Sorry. Let's see. Can you? Is that better? Ooh, a little tongue sticking out. I like that idea. Kind of like he's being silly. Ooh, a little tongue sticking out. I like that idea. Kind of like he's being silly. Ooh, little tongue sticking out. I like that idea. Playful. Yeah, I'm trying to see how to do playful eyebrows. Yeah, I'm trying to see how to do playful eyebrows. Yeah, I'm trying to see how to do playful eyebrows. Let's see. Maybe just adding the tongue will do it too. Maybe just adding the tongue will do it too. Maybe just adding the tongue will do it too. I mean, he has, definitely has a very wide eyed expression right now. Like his eyes are bright. And I mean, he has, definitely has a very wide eyed expression right now. Right. There's an echo. There's an echo. Um. <clears throat> There's an echo. Uh, I can end the stream here and restart it. See if that fixes it. Um. <clears throat> uh, I can end the stream here and restart it. See if that fixes it. Mm-hmm. 